Florida A&M is an interesting one because they've been yeah. hopping all over the place. And then uh, now they're going to play in Florida against the Florida Gators. And you, you wonder if they get caught tonight the same way. So that's interesting on that handicapping play. All right, the guys are already ready for us to talk about the other Champions Classic game. Let's get to that. That's Kansas and Kentucky. That is, again, on the neutral floor, United Center in Chicago, Champions Classic game. Kentucky, a six-point favorite on the neutral floor. The total is 146.5 in this one. Matty Cox, I'm right back to you for the initial thoughts here on this second matchup between the Jayhawks and Big Blue. Uh, Thoughts here? Yeah, the market seems to have no respect for Kentucky. Um, And you can see why. It's a young team. Uh, They're down with their two best big guys right now. Uh, They did get word that they're going to get Adu Thiro back tonight, Uh, one of their bigger, you know, not a true center, so to speak, but at least some size up front uh, to pair with Trey Mitchell. And they're going to need him, too, going up against Hunter Dickinson and some of the size that Kansas has, obviously. You know, Kansas kind of had a tough start to their season, um, at least in the preseason. A lot of headlines, spotlight were on sort of their struggles in some of those scrimmages, lost to Illinois. Then they came out and beat NC Central by a billion, and they beat Manhattan pretty handily by 35. So two easy covers against bad teams. Maybe the Kansas concerns were kind of quelling. They're back to the preseason number one team. Many people had them pegged as. Dickinson's been dominant, but been dominant against, you know, less than stellar competition here. Uh, I kind of agree with the market sentiment. I just think, again, the price for me, Jeff, keeps me off it at seven. Uh, I think in these games we've seen when, the again, the number gets a little too high. Uh, neutral court, you know, I think you'll have some runs back and forth here. Um, and Kansas, not like an overly deep team. They've actually gone deeper in their bench than Self usually does to start the year. But I think in this big game against a good team, you'll see this tighten up. Um, you know, maybe the younger, more youthful legs of Kentucky can exploit that. But uh, again, no, in no hurry to bet Kentucky with, with the, you know, very clear uh, work in progress uh, vibes I get from them. Worth noting, though, that John Calipari is 7-4 and four against Self historically. So as good as self been himself as a coach, Calipari actually has had the edge in these matchups. There's a little trend. Kansas does have the last two wins head-to-head over Kentucky for whatever it's worth. Totally different players in this Champions Classic on the neutral floors. Jeff Nadu, thoughts? It's the nightcap in Chicago. Thoughts on Kansas-Kentucky? Yeah, I think this is what makes college basketball, at least early, so difficult. It's very volatile. I mean, how do you handicap this game, right? You just kind of say, oh, well, Kansas has more veterans, and I don't know who stops uh, Dickinson. Well, g- good, but, I mean, Kentucky might have, when it really comes down to it, from a talent standpoint, and this is a star-studded group. All these kids have played in big games. Is DJ Wagner the best guard on the floor, Matt? Honestly. Mm, no, nah, Dewan Harris is probably. Like, yeah, but he's, give, you know, he could be at Harris. some point. He's no, he could. I think, yeah, in February. If this game's played in February, it's a different handicap, right? But it's played November 14th. And I think this is like right. Cal always pulls the excuse cards with these young teams and these classics. I think he does that tonight again. Yeah. And We're I young, think this is yeah. one of the more talented young teams, if you will. But I've said before, I mean, Kansas is, I think, a buzzsaw. I, I think Dickinson's terrific. That's going to be a terrific spot for him. They have. Again, but though, what do you what do you take out of the first two games? Nothing. I will say Kentucky looked lost at times in the first half against Commerce, who you talk about a team that's traveled. I mean, they've already played four games. They've traveled all around. And I thought they looked really good in that game against Kentucky. Um, they're not a real deep team, Kentucky, which is concerning. I, when I first looked at this game, my thought was double-digit win for Kansas. That's just kind of how I thought it would happen. As Matt said, I think, look, in January, February – Probably a different game, but right now, I'm more trustworthy in Kansas. I'm more trustworthy in what they have and the cohesiveness and continuity. Uh, I lean Kentucky or uh, Kansas here. All right, no official play here again. It should be noted: Duke and Kansas have seven and five records in the 12 years of the Champions Classic, just overall. And Michigan State and Kentucky have five and seven records in the head-to-head uh, matchups. Uh, all right. So- 